Hey there Stampin' Friends, welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's project is this cute little box. Uh, we did this in my stamp club and so I wanted to make sure that I did a video to go along with it so the girls that made it and those that couldn't that have to go kits can see how it, how it was done. And this was from a meeting that I went to and my friend Lynn Peter showed this box. And so sometimes I get caught in a rut and all I do is cards, 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 and I forget to do 3D items and gift items and things like that. So this was a fun little box. You just slide the little belly band down here flip it open and there's your cards inside so these are the three cards that we did in my stamp club and they fit right down inside that cute little box and i'm thinking i've got three cards in there but i'm betting you could do maybe four or five cards even envelopes in there so with the holidays coming that's kind of cool to do as a little gift item so let me show you what we're going to do we need two pieces of Cajun Craze cardstock. One is going to be four and a half by ten and a half. One is going to be four by ten and a half. And then we also need an 11 by one inch strip for the belly band. And two pieces of designer series paper. One is going to be four and a quarter by three and a quarter I believe and four and a quarter by three and three quarters I will double check these and they'll be in the notes so um, if I need to correct myself that's where I'll do that so we're going to start off with our simply scored tool and we will take our uh, larger piece this is the ten and a half by four and a half I'm going to score it at six and six and a half and that's all I'm going to do for that piece set that one aside the other piece, I lost my notes. Never mind, I found them. I thought I, I remembered, but I need to just double check to make sure. Um, this piece is the 10 and a half by four, and we're gonna score that at a half inch, two and a half inches, three inches, seven and a half inches, eight inches, and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score the long side at a half inch. So those two pieces are scored. Then we're also going to score the belly band. While we have this out, we're gonna do two and seven eighths, um, yeah, two and seven eighths, three and three eighths, eight and eight and a half. Now, um, if you're not sure about the eighth marks, if you've got the Simply Scored tool, these teeny little notches are your eighth marks. So you're gonna count in between the bigger marks and then that will give you your eighth inch mark. So that's it for scoring. Get rid of this guy. And um, what we want to do is use our bone folder and really make these score lines nice and crisp. That just, it really does make a difference when you're doing 3D projects to have those score lines run with a uh, bone folder. Uh, just makes everything go together so much easier. So just fold on the score lines you made and just kind of burnish those edges with that bolt bone folder. So, oops, need those. Now, when you look at your four inch piece with the most scores, I don't know if you can see here, there's a little teeny box right there in that corner. We're gonna get rid of that. So we wanna cut that one out just the little box, not the flap. So it'll look like that. Not yet. It'll look like that. Then on these two pieces here, we want to make those flaps. So we need to cut them free. And you're just going to cut straight up to the score line 
that you already made. Then you can go ahead and come back in with your bone folder and make all those score lines so nice and crisp. And this one is actually going to turn into the bottom of your box. And that's what is going to end up to end up holding your cards. Okay, so now it's uh, some assembly time. And what I want to do first is to flip it over. This is going to come together like that, and that's the back of your box. So this is the front of your box. And we want to go ahead and put our designer series paper on here now while the box is still flat. It's a little bit easier than trying to attach it when you have it put together, and it almost will kind of flatten the box out a little bit. So you're going to put the smaller piece of designer series paper on this one. And that is actually, I think I said it right, four and a quarter by three and a quarter, that piece. Now we're going to put a piece of our tear and tape adhesive on the outside of this flap. And you just want to cover that whole piece right there. I love this stuff. You can tear it, but it does leave a raggedy edge. So I think it's fine to just do a little cut. You're going to flip it over and then there's a big long piece right here. That piece you're going to actually do a whole strip of tear and tape on there and that's the inside of your box. And that's all we need for adhesive on there. So it's just going to come across just like that. And one thing that I did, um, the, sometimes depending on how you cut these, you may have a little edge that sticks out. So I'm just going to kind of corner those just a little bit, do a little bit of an angle cut to get rid of those so that they're not sticking out the bottom of my box. Okay, So that is how your box is going to look. So to put together, I'm going to start by peeling off the tear and tape on this little flap and just bringing these two pieces together to meet and then make sure they are stuck pretty good. The tear and tape actually is very very sticky so it should go together pretty quick. Sometimes it's too sticky and if you get it together wrong you're going to struggle to um, get it undone. So the two little flaps are going to go in then the two the other two flaps and then the real long one is going to come across and seal it down. Now I like to take my bone folder then and just go in there and push it down inside the box just to make sure that the two flaps have sealed together. So there's your little card box. Now we're going to come in with that four and a half inch piece and I'm going to go ahead and put my designer series paper on the front. This one's the four and a quarter by three and three and three quarters. And then I'm going to do a little bit of tear and tape on the back side of my box. This is what's going to attach it to that. This, I don't know what, like the cover, I guess we will call it. So you don't need a ton of it because it is very sticky. I would say maybe three or four strips. If you have the Tombow um, multi-purpose glue, that green, the, the glue that has a green lid, you could use that. You can use Fast Fuse. I really do like Fast Fuse also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do another strip right there. Okay. So make sure that they're stuck down where they should be and then theirs are just going to peel off. And that's just going to sit on the inside of this flap. It should actually meet on both sides and at the bottom of the box.
And then again, take your bone folder and just kind of push down to make sure that everything has adhered. And there is the basis of your box ready to fill. So now I'm going to take um, my belly band and I'm going to have it go around. It's going to have a little bit of an overlap right there. And so a little bit of tear and tape there also will help. You don't want that belly band to be terribly tight because you're going to put cards in for one thing. So you need to have a little bit of room for the box to expand. And then you also need to have a little bit of room um, to slide it up and down because that is how you get your cards in and out. So you, you don't have to tear the band off just to get your cards out. So peel these guys off here. And then we're just going to have that come around and kind of attach attach to the front. I think this video is going to come out a little longer than I had intended, but I do want to make sure that you guys know how to create this box. So um, I'm going to cover that seal up or that seam up just a little bit and I'm going to take a piece of delightful Dijon and our one and three eighths circle punch. Punch a piece out and I used our Paisley's and Posey stamp set to create a little medallion. I stamped that on vanilla cardstock in Cajun Craze ink and then I die cut it out. Um, so the stamp and the paper and the, the die cuts all coordinate together, which is awesome. So this is my little die cut right there. Ran that through the big shot and I end up with this guy. So one really cool thing I'm gonna do a little show and tell here. This is a vent cover. It's a piece of magnet that I got at the Walmart and I cut it and so it slides right down inside my envelope here and it magnetically holds all my dies in there. Very cool. I think I got two per pack for maybe two or three dollars. Um, and I'm really enjoying that. I, I really love that idea. That was from another demo on on uh, one of my one of my Facebook pages. Okay, a little bit of mono adhesive here and I'm gonna mount that on that little circle I just did. Then it's show and tell day you guys. Um, this is our copper thread. It's almost like working with a piece of hair. So I think I've showed you guys how I do that, how I've done this before, but I just take it and I hold it in my hand. So I've, I've got a little piece of it, pin, the end pinched here between my thumb and first finger. And then I just kind of wrap it around my fingers a couple times, maybe four or five times, and then cut it off. I then take it and I pinch it in the center and I lay it down on the circle and attach a dimensional. And so that's kind of how I do my little random thread or twine, you know, to kind of make it look like a bird nest, I guess, back behind there. Then you can pull the ends in and stick them down to the pop dot so they're not sticking out crazy. And that's all there is to that to get kind of little little loopies. I am, I think, going to add another dimensional to attach that just because I don't want it to come off. And then that is just going to go right over top of my belly band. Then I took a little rhinestone, stuck that in the center, but I don't have those on my table. So there you go. And that's just going to slide down. Open your box, put your cards in. Is that not cute or what? So cute. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed Movie Monday and I'll see you next week. Have a great week.